strongly recommend it for pregnant women. Um, I know that a lot of them are worried about having that reaction while they're pregnant, they don't want to run a fever, and that's, that's fair, but, you know, for one thing, most people don't have a reaction that's that bad. I know there's a lot of horror stories out there, but most people don't have a bad reaction. And if you get COVID, it's going to be a thousand times worse. The vaccine, we know for some people, a day, maybe 12 hours, me, it was probably, you know, six to 12 hours of feeling a little off. It's, it's a day out of your life. There's plenty of friends, family, coworkers that I know who you're not tasting or smelling anything for months. Headaches that don't go away. Not being able to feel your extremities because of poor blood circulation. Um, all of these things, like we don't know where that's gonna end up. If you have such poor circulation, what does that mean for you in 10 years? Risks of the vaccine are so small that there isn't really any compelling reason to not get the vaccine during pregnancy. And it does not matter whether you're in your first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, the benefits of safety that the vaccine provides far outweigh any risk of feeling unwell or low grade fever. And you don't know which COVID you're gonna get. Sure, it could be mild symptoms for a couple days. It could be asymptomatic, but the easier option is just to get vaccinated.